Hi guys, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video, let's talk about uh, Wi-Fi 6 and why it is important because eventually you'll uh, be using Wi-Fi 6 and again, uh, we are already seeing some new, uh, what do you say, devices having Wi-Fi 6. But uh, before we talk about Wi-Fi 6, uh, let's talk about the Wi-Fi that we have these days. For example, uh, most of us now have dual band devices. For example, uh, the Wi-Fi AC, uh, that's the 5 gigahertz band is generally used for faster connection actually now the Wi-Fi certification um, uh, uh, agency has renamed it the Wi-Fi AC they have renamed it to Wi-Fi uh, 5 and uh, the new Wi-Fi AX which is uh, the new one they have named it to 6 and yes it makes it very simple and the older Wi-Fi N that we still use is now technically Wi-Fi 4 so yes so, uh, to sum it up the new one is the Wi-Fi 6 and uh, uh, if you have noticed, if you have used from uh, the Wi-Fi N, moving to the Wi-Fi AC was very fast. But guys, uh, you know that the Wi-Fi AC is now actually pretty old. Uh, it was uh, announced in 2013 and we started getting devices, etc. Uh, later on. I've been using Wi-Fi AC from 2015 onwards. But uh, now we are going to get this Wi-Fi 6. Already we have a Wi-Fi 6 routers available in the market. But uh, let me talk about why this Wi-Fi 6 is important and what are some of the changes uh, that uh, we can expect. And the big uh, thing is that uh, currently if you have a, what do you say, Wi-Fi router and if you have a lot of devices, for example, on my network, we generally have anywhere uh, 26 to the about 30 devices because you don't realize these days so many devices are connected. For example, my camera is Wi-Fi, my watch is Wi-Fi, laptop is Wi-Fi, of course I have multiple smartphones, there are Wi-Fi tablets, Alexa, Google Home, TV, as you can see, now we have a lot more devices that are actually connecting to our router. And actually, after a certain point, your router simply is not able to handle stuff and hence uh, things slow down. This happens even on very high-end uh, routers, not, yes, happens a lot more on the budget range. Uh, and uh, to migrate this, the Wi-Fi 6 will technically handle a lot more devices. And uh, it will be also faster in communication. For example, uh, guys, if you don't uh, know, the older Wi-Fi, let's say if you have four devices, this is how it used to actually work work it used to uh, give a connection to this and then go to this then go to this third one and then goes to the fourth one as you can see it takes a lot of time and that lag and stuff fortunately we started seeing mimo with wi-fi ac and stuff and things improved but still you know even the highest end wi-fi ac routers uh, the multi-user MIMO is limited to just four devices so that means the router uh, can only communicate simultaneously to just about four devices uh, continuously. In the Wi-Fi 6, this has been increased the multi-user MIMO to eight devices. So that means it can communicate simultaneously to a lot more devices. Hence, that lagginess and stuff that you see sometimes when multiple devices are connected should not happen or it should happen a lot less with the Wi-Fi 6. Another thing uh, is that it also has OFDMA. And to give you an uh, idea, uh, this will help uh, the router to actually manage uh, the Wi-Fi is uh, subdivided into channels. It can div uh, divide it much better and plan the traffic a lot better. That way, it can handle a lot more devices compared to uh, the current Wi-Fi 5 that we have. So theoretically, the Wi-Fi 6 routers will be able to handle a lot more devices uh, uh, simultaneously compared to the older one so and apart from this we'll also uh, see improvements in the speed for example let's talk about the theoretical uh, speeds and i'm going to talk about wi-fi 5 that is wi-fi ac uh, theoretically the maximum speed on that was about 3.5 gigabytes we never get this theoretical speed but that's what with the wi-fi 6 the theoretical uh, maximum speed is about 9.6 gigabytes so more than double so uh, if you are running simultaneously a lot of uh, devices uh, for example you're doing xbox you're downloading some stuff with a laptop you're streaming some stuff and also they will be a lot better with the Wi-Fi 6 but again guys this Wi-Fi 6 is new 
So again, you need a new router for that as well as the devices that you have should support Wi-Fi 6. But the good thing is that Wi-Fi 6 is backward compatible with all the existing Wi-Fi. For example, if you buy a new Wi-Fi 6 router, it will work perfectly with your existing Wi-Fi N or the Wi-Fi AC equipment that you have. So you don't have to worry about it. It's always backward compatible. And uh, I know uh, all of us love some stats. And so here are the raw stats by the Wi-Fi organization. They say that the new Wi-Fi 6 routers will be about 37% faster compared to the Wi-Fi 5 that is the AC routers and also they will have improved range as well as they will get better battery life and also uh, with the new Wi-Fi 6 uh, WPA3 uh, uh, is actually mandatory for example if you uh, know currently the security standard that you use for Wi-Fi is WPA2 yes some of the new Wi-Fi AC routers also support WPA3 but with Wi-Fi 6 it will be mandatory so uh, it will also increase the security of your network and uh, also there is this new thing this was just announced last month that is if you notice Wi-Fi 6E so what does this E stand for enhanced and to give you a very rough idea about this, for example, if you know the Wi-Fi N band used to run on the 2.4 gigahertz, uh, this is still uh, very popular. Uh, I would say the budget routers only support that. And then the Wi-Fi uh, AC actually used the 5 gigahertz band. Now with this Wi-Fi 6E that is enhanced, they're adding the 6 gigahertz option also. So again, you have way more bandwidth. So in future, the devices that will have Wi-Fi 6E can also use the new 6 gigahertz standard. Again, we won't find every device to have that, but some of the higher end devices will have that. So that's the big difference between the Wi-Fi uh, AC that we're using and the Wi-Fi 6. Uh, currently, we don't have any routers with the Wi-Fi 6E, but already we are seeing a lot of equipment with Wi-Fi uh, six uh, routers are already available in the market and uh, in fact uh, some of the new uh, high-end stuff if you're buying check if it supports Wi-Fi 6 for example the new Acer uh, laptop that I purchased just last month this does support Wi-Fi 6 uh, many of the new high-end new smartphones for example from Samsung and some other vendors also support Wi-Fi 6 so again if you're buying something new high-end and you'll be using it for the next couple of years check if that supports Wi-Fi 6 because the Wi-Fi 6 is going to be there everywhere and once you have that your internet connectivity uh, that you have will be a lot better and stable uh, personally for me i'm currently using google home and it's just wi-fi ac that's wi-fi 5 uh, so i will wait for some time before upgrading to the wi-fi 6 uh, currently my router and some of the smartphones do support wi-fi 6 but i'll wait for about uh, end of this year and see uh, and then only move to a new wi-fi 6 router but again if you're buying some new stuff new electronic gadgets uh, particularly at the higher end check if it does support Wi-Fi 6 because this is going to be broadly very important in the next couple of years. Anyways, guys, uh, that's it for now. And guys, if you're still not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care, guys.